Alright, well, just a video here. I'm, I just inspected my uh, kind of finished Wazer 10 stock here. Um, I did some serious staining and varnishing to it. I, it's got a little rough texture. Like I say, it's it's probably from the, the amateur hour type um, staining that I did. I did it exactly the way the guy on uh, YouTube did. The thing that I'm going for is kind of the glossy Russian look, which it does have that glossy look. You can see this is perfectly dry. All this says, it just um, has that gloss, but it's not smooth as a touch. It's not piano top smooth, like I said in my last video. This piece here actually is. Um, this was the one that came with the gun from Century Arms. I believe this was an American made part, one of the compliant parts. Um, that I thought was going to turn out the shittiest, but has been the best piece thus far. This one here is the um, one I got from my buddy with his non-compliant kit that I traded him a case of beer for, which included that lower pistol grip here. And, of course, you got your buttstock, which I think is glossy. Looks nice. It's pretty smooth to the touch. She's nice. And basically, I'm just like a kid in a candy store. I got to start. So I got my Wazer 1063 here. This is the gun that I bought from Dunham's. Um, it's all field stripped. It's got everything. I see the gas piston and everything up there. You know, it's a single. It's a 10 round single stack. Um, I'm going to be making a video here in a little while after deer season here in Wisconsin. So probably December I'm going to be making a video another month and a half or two months. So I'll be making a video of how to make this in a 30 round. It's pretty simple. You just need a file and a Dremel. And then here, that's where the buttstock came out. So the, the cool thing about these guns is this thing will still fire. Um, the only piece that you're missing is kind of the gas tube here. So... Once you put the gas tube back on, this gun, as is, I mean, they saw them pistol grip, but if you're, you know, going to want to lay siege on a bunch of, you know, Soviet invaders in your house or something like that, and something like Call, uh, something like Call of Duty type situation, you can just bust the buttstock off from this, and you got a pistol grip AK. So I'm sure a lot of people know that, but. Um, the only part you really need is the upper, the gas tube, you know, assembly and piston and all that. You, uh, we have the rod right here, you know, when you rack the slide, this will go back, but, um, this gun will still fire if you put that gas tube on here. This thing will function and fire like, like no other. I mean, you know, you might have to have a rag to hold over the barrel to fire it, but, that's how beautiful the AK-47 is. So, um, I'm going to start assembling it right here. And I'm going to put all these pieces on. Basically, this piece here, the stock, obviously, which is, it's pretty smooth. It's like a Russian. You know, it's, it's, it's nice. I'm not trying to, you know, give it a happy ending here or anything, but it does feel good, eh? It was a labor of love. I had to spend a lot of time working on this shit. And then this will go on there, the front pistol grip. And I'm trying to debate under the upper four grips, either this one or the other. I'm thinking this one here, the one that came with the, the kit that I traded my buddy for. Because it's, it's not bad. It's smooth, you know. It's got that dark Russian red, which is the right color. I don't know. And I might restain some of this shit, too. But... It feels alright. This one here does feel very, very, it feels very smooth, very clean. It's like piano top smooth. I mean, you can see from the the gloss here, it's, this son of a bitch is smooth. So, I don't know, maybe I'll put this one on. It's still a little tacky. Basically, I'm going to assemble the gun, let it sit out, and let it dry. So, I'll make another video once it's all done. So, thanks for watching.